In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to print out the first unique character in a string. In other words, the first character that doesn't have a repeat. So we'll make a test string. I'll say car s is equal to a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, p, and then a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i. And the idea with this test string is that all the characters up until i here have a repeat. j is the first character that's unique. It's the first character in the string without a repeat. So that's a character we'd want to print out. We'll make a function to find this character in a string and print it out. We'll say void print first unique. And then we'll make this function accept a string as an argument. I'm also going to include a couple of libraries to help me here. I'm going to include string.h because it has a helpful string length function that finds the length of a string. I'm also going to include stdbool.h because it allows me to make Boolean variables. And those could be helpful as well when solving this problem. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the way that I'm going to solve this problem is I'm going to look at each character in this string one at a time with an outer loop. Then I'm going to have an inner loop that's also going to look at each character in the string one at a time. And it's going to try to find a repeat. It's going to try to find a match. And we're going to say that if we ever find a match for that character in the string, then at that point, we know that it is a repeating, right? We know that it's not unique at that point. So if I, for example, look at B here, we're going to eventually find this B here in the string. And at that point, we know that it's not unique. At that point, we know that we found a repeat. So we'll make a length variable first. I'm going to say here int length is equal to strlens. And I'm going to use this length variable to know how long to run my loops for. And then we'll make a couple of Boolean variables here to keep track of whether we found a repeat and whether we found a unique character at all. So if I just don't find a unique character at all, I want to tell the user that too and say like, hey, we couldn't find a unique character in this string, period. So we'll say here bool found repeat is equal to false and bool found unique is equal to false. And we'll make our outer loop here. So for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. And then we'll say found repeat is equal to false because we're going to be looking at each character individually, right? To see if each character individually has a repeat. So we're always going to reset found repeat to false at the start of this loop. And then the inner loop is what's going to actually try to find the repeat here. So we'll say here for int j is equal to zero, j is less than length, j plus plus. And we'll say if s at i is equal to s at j, and i doesn't equal j, then we know that we found a repeat. And we're going to say here at that point, found repeat is equal to true. So this comparison here, s at i is equal to sj, and i doesn't equal j. So the reason why we have to have this part here, and i doesn't equal j, is we don't want to match a character with itself at the same position, right? So like this b here, we say that it has a match because this character at this index matches this character at this index. We wouldn't want to say that b has a repeat because this character at this index matches this character at the same index, right? So that's why we do the check here to make sure that i doesn't equal j when we do find the repeat. Otherwise, it's not really a repeat, it's just the same character. So then here we'll say that if we couldn't find a repeat, so if we could not find a repeat, then we know that we found a unique character. So if we couldn't find a repeat, if there's not found repeat, right? Found repeat is false still, even after we looked at every character in the string. Then we're going to print out that character because that's the first unique character. So we'll say printf percent %c slash n. We output the character. We're going to set found unique equal to true because we have found a unique character now. And then we'll break because we're done, right? We don't really need to keep going here because once we found the first unique character, we print it out and we're done. And then we're going to do one more thing. If somehow we get through all of this, we look at all the characters here and we never find a unique character. So found unique never gets set to true. It remains false. We're going to want to print something up for the user to tell them that too. We'll say, we'll say here, if not found unique. So if not found unique, print F, no unique character found. We'll just let the user know. Okay, so let's test this function out with S here. We'll say here, print first unique. We'll pass S as an argument. And we expect J to be the first unique character in the string to be printed out. So we'll compile this program here. And then we'll run it and we get J. 
Now, if I delete everything from J over to this second A here, then everything in the string should have a repeat now. Every character in the string there should have a repeat now. And we should get this printed out instead, saying that no unique character was found. So let's give this a test. We'll save this here, do a recompilation and run it. And now we get no unique character found. And so we've now created a function in C, which allows us to print out the first unique character in a string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.